Welcome to this week in the world of wrestling. Ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to your Lucha Underground Season 2 live reactions. This is episode 13, Monster Meets Monster. Yep, guys, this is going to be the episode, Mil Muertes versus Matanza for the Lucha Underground Championship. Mil Muertes getting his rematch, his one-on-one -on -one rematch, that is, because we know that he did participate in Aztec Warfare with disastrous results. So we'll have to see how this confrontation goes tonight. He only participated in Aztec Warfare on paper. He didn't actually participate. Yeah, yeah, that's true. Pentagon made sure of that fact. Yeah. Now we're seeing Dario Cueto's manipulation of Matanza here, shaking the bars. Oh, that's, man, this is going to be an amazing episode. It's going to be a brotherhood broken in blood, baby. And now where are we going here? We're backstage. That alliteration, though? Ooh, Dario Cueto in Phoenix. Hmm. Ooh, Phoenix is pissed. Yeah. Oh! Drago. This and is Aerostar. Rio. So they're going to be going against the Disciples of Death. Oh, man. So Phoenix still has that relation to Mil Muertes, even with all this other shit going on, even if it's indirectly, like, through the Disciples of Death. Yeah, that's a great point. I'm glad you saw that right away, because it would have taken me probably until we recorded Twitwa tonight to realize that. <laughs> oh, man. That's right. I remember that. Look at the reference for the past season. What was it that time? Uh, Drago and Aerostar couldn't get along last time. In fact, I think this was the exact team, wasn't it, that was in the tournament last year? And they couldn't do it because Drago and Aerostar kept trying to steal pins from each other. Hmm. You might be. You know what? Let me look through my season one notes. Wait a minute here. Who? Oh, uh, Darewolf P. Wait, who's teaming with it? Wait, what? Wow. Okay, so Phoenix is teaming with PJ Black and, and uh, Jack Evans. And Dari Cueto, Aerostar. Oh, uh, uh, Drago oh, and Aerostar are going to have a match tonight. Yeah, for one of the medallions. Wow, we're doing Drago and Aerostar again. And with high stakes, just like their last battle, you know, winner gets an Aztec medallion. Once again, though, we don't answer the real question that everybody has on their minds is when is Johnny Mundo going to be in an uh, you know, Aztec medallion matchup? You know, that's what the people really care to know. And yeah, dude, you're right. Uh, episode 22 last year, the first match was the unlikely trio versus Phoenix, Drago, and Aerostar. Well, it looks like we won't be getting that again like I thought because Phoenix is going to be teaming with PJ Black and Jack Evans. What a weird team. See, I love, too, how, like, Dario Cueto is, like, the ultimate sort of symbol for corporate America because they get one little thing that they didn't even know was going to work to work, and they try to recreate it over and over and over again, just like what, they do, what he's doing right now with the uh, Unlikely Trio. Exactly. It's brilliant. Yeah, Dario, man, he'll he'll exploit anything to the last drop if it benefits him. But yeah, we know that uh, Phoenix, Jag Evans, and PJ Black will be facing the Disciples of Death and Drago and Aerostar in an Aztec medallion match. Yep. Ooh. What's going to be first? This uh, is a what? medallion match. Oh, snap. Yeah, so I guess, yeah, Drago versus Aerostar. Yep, Drago and Aerostar. Who do you got for this one, brother? You know what? Uh, because of the big vignette that we got earlier this season, I'm picking Aerostar to win this. That is true. It would probably make more sense for him to win it. But you know what, though? I'm going to go against the grain. I'm going to say Drago because Ultima Lucha won. I feel like Aerostar had one of the Aztec medallions, if I'm not mistaken. Yep. And Drago had to face Hernandez in that uh, Believer Strat match. Yeah, but Drago did beat Aerostar in their best of five series. That is true. That is true. Hmm. I'm still going Drago, though. Oh, Although, my God, that dragon skull. Oh, my Jesus. That attire is legit. His attire gets better every time we see him. I swear. It's crazy. Absolutely. The only bad thing is that now we can't see that wacky black tongue that sticks out of his mouth because we can't even see his mouth. Yeah, that was the best part of the attire formally. But I'll tell you, that, that mask, though, like, damn, that's legit. He takes off a mask to reveal... Another mask. Mother of God. <laughs> oh, my God. 
There you go. Oh, he still has the tongue. Yeah, there you go. So he takes off the one mask and he's able to do the other cool shit about his head. It's so layered. Layers for the win. You mean dragon layered? Oh, uh, snap. Uh, hey, what are you doing, Aerostar? He wasn't paying attention. Yeah, really, that's kind of a cheaty move, Aerostar. Oh, but look at Drago, they're slipping out, has oh, control into of the, the leg. crab. Oh, but half Aerostar crab grabs the legs. Oh, nice. look Leverage at this. There. Could it be a surfboard? Oh, no, Drago turns around. One, two, no, counter one. Else flips out. Stacks him up. Jagknife, one. And Drago kicks out. Oh, oh and now Aerostar are going to kip up. so freaking athletic. Beautiful arm drag there by Aerostar. Drop toe hold there to Drago. Oh, but Drago. Pick the leg, slips out. Now he controls the arm, just Drago. Yeah. Now Aerostar is going to move around here. And now he's going to fight out. Just that was hands sick. There. That, like, chop there to break up the hand grip. Yeah, that was a nice move there by Aerostar using that quickness. I thought that was so cool. Drago and Aerostar know each other very well. Did that best of five series. And, yeah, I mean, great back and forth. And I thought these guys were going to be able to team up, you know, against PJ oh. Black and Jack Evans. But, uh, yeah. No knock down there. I'm sure they will event. Oh, my God. And no, slow Oh, my oh. God. Oh, but Drago saw that coming, man. Nice kick there. The amount of stuff Aerostar does without touching the mat blows my mind. I know, right? I mean, definitely brings taking it to the air to a whole new meaning, because, like, how often are you even on the freaking ground there, bro? And not Drago there, trying with the sweep. Aerostar out of the way. Nice kick, though. I think to the side of Drago. Now they're in the oh, corner man. here. Oh, oh Aerostar. Look at oh, Aerostar, though. Beautiful corkscrew crossbody. Oh, my God. And those fluid motions, too. Yeah. Just oh. so clean. And now Drago going to go off the ropes there, here. Arrow star, but uh, Drago dodged it. Look at this. Oh, oh, I thought we were going to get that dragon tail pinning combination. Yeah, you and me both, but that was a beautiful arm drag. Nonetheless, the believers are into it. They're like, yeah. They're cheering for Drago, yeah. Oh, Drago slapped the hand away. He uh, wants yeah, to win like, this. Yeah, more like high five. Oh. Oh, oh, shoulder, though, for Drago. And now what's Oh, my pretty? God. Oh, no way. No. Up, uh, up, uh, uh, up. Uh. Trying wow. to show off. There you go. Now Drago's going to have to capitalize. Yep, this opens up something for Drago to do here. Absolutely. I thought. I think Aerostar was planning to go from one rope to, to the, the other, other rope. On to Drago. Yep. And couldn't even get out of the gate, and now Drago gets to capitalize. Trying to show off? Man, I mean, I think Aerostar could pull that off 97 times out of 100, but that was just one of the three. Exactly. You know, and, and that's really all it comes down to. That's, that's why you know, they that's call it high risk. And the more times you try and do it, the riskier it gets. Precisely. And now Drago, to me, because he played more of that scientific, more of that ground game. Oh, but uh, look at the Rana okay. from Aerostar. Nice recovery now he's going there, over top. Oh, still not going to oh, give him the high blind game. Wow. Air Jordan, baby. That was gorgeous. Absolutely gorgeous there by Aerostar. I was getting ready to say that I felt like Drago had a real window. Didn't really seem like Aerostar could make a recovery, but he did fairly quickly, I might add. Yeah. I think Drago might have kind of, you know, dawdled around a little bit too much when Aerostar fell off the ropes. Right. Like yeah, he, maybe it he was like he was waiting for him to recover rather than attacking him. Yeah, I think Drago... Maybe being a little bit too sympathetic now that him and Aerostar have become friends, but this is for an Aztec medallion. Tejano's already qualified. Oh. And now look oh, at Drago. Oh, just throws just them power. over the top. Wow. Not only really see Drago utilize the power game often, but he just powered through Aerostar there, throwing him over the ropes. And now Drago here could it be suicide. Uh, no. Wow. Very nice. Wow. Beautiful maneuver there by Drago. Will seem like a corkscrew, almost kind of moonsault to finish variation. Yeah, that was almost like what uh, what Neville does, where he he jumps out facing his opponent and he ends the you know the the jump move, whatever you want to call it, facing the ring. Right now, Drago here. Oh, look at Arrow Star with a sweet you, motion. I'll tell you, Arrow Star's really up for his games this first season. And now, oh, he went for yeah. it, but Drago moved. Yeah, he did. Got out of the way, saw Aerostar coming. And, and you see Aerostar, after that one dive he did, he yeah. was favoring the leg. And now he's favoring the leg again. If you're Drago, I wonder if you take note of that. But Drago here, oh, he could try and hang him up maybe on the rope for a neck breaker. Let's oh, see. oh, DDT. Wow. 
Drago there hooking the leg. Only a two Aerostar count, though. Aerostar's still fighting. Yeah, Aerostar's staying in this thing. I, I gotta give Drago credit, though. I can't really fault him for that. Aerostar was just tougher on that occasion, but I like the urgency Drago go to, uh, went, showed in going for the cover, and Aerostar there moves out of the way, sweeps the leg. Oh, could oh be... sweep the leg, Johnny! Oh, could it be a low drop kick? Wow, oh, those wow. motions. A low angle triangle drop kick. Wow, god damn, Aerostar. He's so flashy. He really oh, is. Certainly. If you look at his suit, it's got flashy light bulbs in it. Yeah, it really does. And I mean, Ashton, you made the point. You picked Aerostar because we saw. He oh, is he's going to walk the tightrope. Oh, uh, is he taking too much time here, though? Drago could counter. And he does. Oh, but Aerostar lands well. on his feet. Drago with the missile nice drop kick. drop kick, though, by Drago. Now Drago, he may be trying to put this away here. Remember, Nasty Medallion at the stake. Is he going to get it? Power bump. No. Oh, oh wow. Well. Yeah, yeah, I was just about to say. And now hooks the leg. One, two, oh. and Aerostar kicks out. Wow. I've never seen Aerostar pull a Dominator out of his arsenal, though. That was cool. Yeah, it just goes to show how much being an Aztec medallion recipient means to both guys. And now both guys are really checking each other with their... Yeah, Aerostar's the left knee is in rough shape. Yeah, it is. And now, oh, look at this. Trading forearms back and forth here. Kneeled forearms. Oh, Drago, though, regains the vertical base first. Picking up Aerostar. Now he's firing at the forearms. Now he's going to charge oh, over. The Aerostar falling him through, though. With nice. a 1 9, a Tiger faint kick through the ropes onto Drago's lower back. Oh, now, now he's trying to prep here for Drago. Is Drago going to get Oh, my oh. God. Wow. Okay. I don't even know what to call that because it was clearly like the knees met the head and not the chest, so I can't call it an inverted lung blower. Oh, and he got oh, it. Oh, the flying squirrel. That might be it. One, two, and three. And that's it. Aerostar Aer wins. Aerostar gets a, an Aztec medallion. He gets a second chance at going for Gift of the Gods. He lost the first ever Gift of the Gods matchup. Maybe this year luck will be on his side. Hopefully by the time he actually gets to the seven-way match for the Gift of the Gods, his knee recovers. Yeah, definitely. That's a great He's match. lucky that he was in one of the early matches for a medallion. Exactly, because... Regardless of when that belt will be contested for, whether it's before Ultima Lucha 2, as Ashton thinks, or at Ultima Lucha 2, as I think, Aerostar's going to need all the recovery time he can get. We're going to get nothing but Katrina for the rest of the night now, because the Disciples of Death taking on Phoenix, Jack Evans, and PJ Black, and then Mill versus Matanza. And to me, the big question in the match in regards to the former is, Again, you know, Phoenix is still kind of tethered to Mil Muertes and Katrina through both her presence and the Disciples of Death being out there. How is that interaction going to go down? And are PJ Black and Jack Evans isn't even really going to co co coexist with Phoenix in my mind? I think they'll be so wrapped up in their own stuff. That's a great question, and I guess we'll find out when we get back on the other side of this commercial. Oh, Ladies my God. We're back. Oh, my God. Go ahead, John. Uh, Johnny Mundo and Taya. It is possible, Taya. Trust me, I know it. <laughs> that training, oh, though? Great cheese on those abs. Now, what about an Aztec Medallion matchup? What are you guys planning, huh? Oh, Ooh. God. They're facing each other, aren't they? Oh. Okay. That's right! That's right! Oh. Oh, my God! Okay. Uh. Yeah. Against that's so oh, weird, my Mundo shirt. It, if it's against Cage, though. Do it against Cage. Let's settle this. Classic Let's... Quato. It is against Cage. Oh. He's going to settle it. You're going to win, and you're going to go to give to the fucking gods, and you're going to fucking win it. Yeah. 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 Yes. Take yes to slam down. Um. Oh. Oh, God. Oh, it's what? a steel cage match. What? Johnny Uso is the bitch. master of a steel cage match. He's undefeated in steel cage matches in that's, the underground. That's right, because he beat King Cuerno, and he's going to beat Cage. Yeah, train. Yeah, he doesn't have to be worried. He's Johnny fucking Mundo. Damn right. Damn right. Damn right. Look at Ty and Johnny feeding off each other. That's right. We got this. 
We got this squad goals, baby. Squad goals. Write an infinite loop into his code so he has no clue what he's doing. Exactly. Look at you with the fucking technology references. Yes. Yes. <laughs> Here we go. Evans, yep. PJ Black, and Phoenix. Oh, my God. I, well, I'm just so jazzed now knowing that Johnny Mundo is going to have a shot in an Aztec medallion. But these three men have a chance to compete for the trios championship. But first, they have got to win this tournament. And it starts with the Disciples of Death. I mean, Ashton, do you like these guys' chances here? You know, I'm actually picking the Disciples. I can't say I blame you. You know, I think I they thought are... for sure that this would be just like the final nail in the Disciples of Death's coffin, so to speak. Because of the fact that, you know, they've already been such a disappointment. And I thought that there would be like a dream team of sorts, kind of like what Ray and Puma and Azteca Jr. were last week. But based on the team, I think that, you know, they're going to implode and it's going to allow the Disciples to win. Yeah, I mean, I can't help but agree with you, partner. I think the Disciples of Death, I mean, they're going to start to recuperate here tonight in terms of credibility. Get that win. I mean, because on paper... Phoenix, PJ Black, and Jack Evans, that is a legit team. All three guys are incredibly talented, but I do think it'll come down to the Disciples of Death have a greater chemistry. They have a more legitimate connection than the other three guys do. And I completely agree. And we're going to find out who's going to win on the other side of this commercial. Ladies and gentlemen, we're back with Lucha Underground Season 2, Episode 13, Live Reactions. Oh, it's 13. Lucky number 13, John. That means that all of the death has to win tonight, right? Oh my goodness, you just put something together that blew my mind. And now, Sinestro de la Muerte. His name is literally oh. 13. He's going to be a superhero today. Oh, that's right, Trece. And the one in gold is Barrio Negro, right? And then <laughs> purple guy is Sinestro de la Okay, that, yeah, that was my mistake. And Trece here starting off with PJ Black, the Darewolf. Yeah. Not Nice shoulder like that. Yeah, how the moon, baby. Off those ropes, nice hands down there, and point and arm drag there to trace. Eh? Beautifully done, nice and deep. Good Trolling point. that arm. PJ Black. Oh, point to Phoenix, and he's gonna fake him out and tag him, tag him. Oh, <laughs> 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 oh yeah. Wait, what? Wow, they didn't even. Why didn't Jack Evans take that tag? I don't know. He did that whole cool thing, and then Jack just, it was like a warm fart, man. What the fuck? <laughs> I love that PJ Black is just, like, yelling at him, like, dude, you're a dick. <laughs> yeah, I know. It's like, way to be, like, a non-bro in that moment, man. And now PJ Black, oh, uh, Trace caught the kick, tried to flip him over. Darewolf ducks, nice, super kick there. Trace goes down. Cover the pin. Cover. And Phoenix, look at that. Phoenix giving more coverage to PJ Black than Jack Evans. <sighs> Jack Evans doesn't want anything to do with this right now. It's crazy. And now I believe that was Sinestro. Oh, Jack Evans makes him out. <laughs> Troll Evans. <laughs> <laughs> Nothing new with that. That's his character. I love it. True. Oh, now it's VJ Black thinking. I thought he was going to, oh, I thought he was going to, like, charge Oh, but Phoenix car. going over top of the corkscrew oh, arm. Corkscrew, like, yeah, I think he did get a bit of a forearm there. I was going to say corkscrew body press, but yeah. That's usually that, what he does when he does that, is a forearm. Right. It's and like a P forearm crossbody hybrid. Oh, and now Phoenix is limping. Oh, man, that's not good. <laughs> Jack Evans is being such a dick. And take the tag, bro. And now look at PJ. Like, and now oh, there's a the tag. And now Jack Evans is going to be a team player. And, wow, he's really taking his dear sweet time. Like Jack Evans, Dragon Slayer and soon-to-be Conqueror of Death Itself. Maybe, if he actually does oh, something. Oh, but Sinestro de la Muerte drags him into the corner crotch first. Jack, Jack Evans took so long. Why did you take that long? Now PJ Black has to do even more work. Look, I don't, yeah, I don't, I don't blame <laughs> That was great. I mean, he knew that Jack Evans was the legal man, so he got into position with the tag rope and made the tag legally into the match so he could actually, you know, continue inflicting offense. Yeah, I mean, that makes perfect sense to me. And now look at the Disciples of Death there, there. Sinestro there into PJ Black, and now Barrio Negro. Yeah. Gonna take him back and restrain him there. Oh, I wonder if Phoenix is just completely done in this match since he injured his leg. Maybe, yeah. We haven't really seen any sign of Phoenix. Now Barrio Negro gets to tag in. And, nice oh, boot nice. there to PJ. Yeah, now chop. Oh, and an overhand chop. 
Oh, I think he just tagged in. Oh, no. Okay. Tag, say it again, it the in. superhero. That's right. He's got all these powers going on here. The ultimate home field advantage is a home day advantage. <laughs> yep. And now Sinestro back in. PJ yep. Blackman, he is on ice right now because he's getting isolated. And, oh, oh, PJ Blackman with the duck. Tag and Phoenix. Phoenix with the tag. Oh, okay. Phoenix ain't out of this yet. No. And it looks like his knee is better. He might have just walked it off. Exactly. And now... Uh, of the ropes there. Oh, Sinestro! Oh, it's right in the back. Beautiful form there by Phoenix. Man, that is something. And now Phoenix is going to go off the ropes the here. Ropes. And slingshot. Nice. Oh, my arm God. Drag. A slingshot. A, a handspring arm drag. Yeah, that arm drag. Almost flip bottom esque, it looked like to me. All of the arm. That was, that was some crazy stuff by Phoenix. And now him and Sinestro there. Phoenix in the corner. Say, oh, what a super kick. When you say flip bottom, is it like a C4 Spanish fly kind of thing? Yeah, exactly. Okay. I've no. never heard of it referred to a flip bottom before. I, you know what? I know that's what the video games they used to play with that move. Like, that's what they would call it. Ah. Uh, that's really how I know it. But yeah, you're right. Spanish fly is the more common term we use here. And nice. Look at that, oh, though. Kick there. Drop kick. Basement drop kick right to the face of uh, Sinestro de la Muerte. Oh, and Phoenix saying it's done here. Pile, or I almost said pile driver. Brain buster! Into the cover there, and Sinestro kicks out. Katrina really hasn't been too much of a factor in this match, me, though she is holding up the stone. I don't understand how pile drivers are these big devastating moves, and yet brain busters almost never get a three count unless they're done by, like, Austin Aries or Sami Zayn on the top rope. Right. Oh, Sinestro there with the drop kick. Because they're, like, the same move, but the brain buster drops you from higher up. Exactly, and now what's Sinestro thinking? Oh, oh DDT, DDT, and then cradles the it hell? there. Yeah, look at that. That was almost like a, a fisherman-like pin there that Sinestro had going on, but I mean, that's like an impaler almost. I would agree. I mean, that DDT it was deliberate. Like it, it you know, it wasn't like this one fluid, swift thing. No, it was like I'm gonna drive this head. I'm gonna leave an imprint of the skull yeah. in the canvas. Yeah. And like, now Barrio Negro gets the tag. This head is a shovel, and I'm digging for gold, brother. Yeah, and I'll tell you, Barrio Negro, the one in the gold attire, certainly capitalizing on the opportunity. Yeah. Tell you, man, Phoenix is in rough shape. Oh, man, Rick Nog's getting the tough time. Yeah, give him shit. <laughs> yeah. I love oh. that in Lucha Underground, fish hooks aren't necessarily all targeting the mouth. Some of them target masks. Yeah, that is true. That is true. Oh, man, look at Phoenix, though, taking on everybody in the opposing team in that corner. And then, oh, oh. tries to make a tag. Um, I think Jack Evans is reaching out for one. But I don't even know if he would have accepted it if Phoenix would have gotten there. <laughs> oh, nice and Zagiri there. We're, Phoenix find out. We're gonna find out. We're gonna find out. And oh, oh PJ Black. Tag. Did, he wanted it, but Jack Evans stole the tag. I'm just glad they were both there for Phoenix. And, oh, oh, Jack Evans! A what a springboard! Board. Oh my God, this man is and Jesus. Then the <laughs> <laughs> and then the melee there. Jack oh, and the Evans boom. is the flippiest man alive. Oh my god, that is some Krav Maga right there. Crane style, baby! Oh man, we need to get him some sake in that running so we can do some drunken fist. Drunken kung fu. Yeah, but Drunken master! I do agree with that. Oh, wow. Right and the then he ate there. a triple dr super kick and died. Oh, why are you taking the ball? Oh, okay. oh, that was sweet. You know what you're doing. That's fresh, though. Fire <laughs> Negro, look at this. Barrio Negro's like, hey, let's oh! like, oh, that's the arm. Oh, fireman's carry. Oh, is Barrio Negro going to pull this off, man? No, Phoenix. No uh, Phoenix no, does no. counter. Phoenix does One, counter. Two. two. Oh, oh, I thought he had him. Oh. I thought he had him. Phoenix off the ropes. Is he going to go for the cut? No, no, no. Oh, oh. crap. I think he wanted, uh, like, a. Sunset um, flip. Something. Yeah, that thing. A sunset flip power bomb. Or a Yoshi tonic. That's what it is. Yeah, yeah. But it looked like Negro caught him and just kind of flapjacked him. Yeah, he shut that shit down. Yeah, he and, did. And now Barrio Negro recovered. Nice oh, kick to the stomach there. And now Barrio Negro may capitalize. And oh. No, 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 no. PJ Black is on the corner. Is his no, ego going to get in the way? Like no, off. Phoenix catches it. Phoenix. Nice. Oh, up up there. oh my God. PJ Black holding his hands in the air. He is innocent. Do yeah. not accuse him of anything or making a tag. Oh, I think he's going to do that. Oh, there is the tag. <laughs> <laughs> and that's PJ Black capitalized. He that got the tag awesome. to something. 450. He, 
He's doing stuff. Yes. He's doing stuff. The bullet bit me. Oh, but oh, Trey. Oh, but he Trey say he stuff. came. He came to save the day for his team. He really is a hero. Oh God, this is all breaking off. Just fall. Oh, oh, double super kick. kick. Oh my God. And now they're arguing over the tag. Don't be mad because it was cool. See, and now they over the top. Oh. Uh, Oh, oh, and now they're still arguing over the tag. It doesn't matter, yo. We got tagged. Deal with it. <laughs> Deal with it. And oh, I think PJ fly. Black's about to fly. Oh, he's going to do it. And I'll be. Oh, we got a tag. We got a tag. Oh, my God. You know, if they would just get on the same page with their attitudes, these tags would be beast. What and are I'm you Jack. Doing, Jack? Jack, look, it's all about Jack Evans, okay? He's trying to teach Phoenix stuff. Nice kick there, Jack Evans. And now, oh, oh that dive, bro. Oh my God! Phoenix and is one on one with Barrio Negro in the ring, though. Oh, it's over! 50. Oh my God! One, oh my God! Two, three, Got it! Win. Oh my God! What a beautiful match! What a beautiful victory for an amazing team! I know they are an amazing team. Oh my God! <laughs> that was so good. And Katrina's just like. Yeah, Phoenix got it done again. I'll tell See, you, man. They they got me to doubt whether this team would win or not because, you know, they're they're like the unlikely trio of this year. But no, they're they're good. <laughs> they are good, brother. And what's crazy to me is PJ Black seemed to get along more with Phoenix than he did Jack Evans. I mean, they argued, but they still got more done as a team than he and Jack Evans. That is true. Jack Evans is like, bitch, this is all about me. And yeah. he's not even wrong. <laughs> no, and I love at the end how he just had to get his shit in, too. <laughs> yeah, he did. You will back off and let me flip. El Hemor, Luchador. It's Mejor. Mejor. I, I know I said it wrong when I first said it, but still, Jack Evans advances people. And Close like, enough, <laughs> John. I'm proud of you. <laughs> All right, guys, we will be back on the other side of this commercial with Mil Muertes versus Matanza. Ladies and gentlemen, we're back with Lucha Underground Season 2, Episode 13, and Dario Cueto is talking to someone in his office. Ooh. Who is it? Oh, Trios Tournament? Oh, oh, team Havoc! Uh, uh, yeah, that's because it kind of was. Uh-uh. Yeah, that... Yeah. Yeah, he did! What's the point? Yeah. Okay. Oh, they're going to face each other for a medallion. How much you want to bet? Oh, that's a genius idea. Yeah? Ooh, that confidence now. Oh. Oh, what? 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 Oh. Whoa. Oh, what? 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 Ah. Uh... Oh, what? my. Dude, oh, a, four, a four team elimination match next week. That's going to be insane. On top of Mundo Cage in a cell. Oh, Team Ivalice. <laughs> Dario's so done with her shit. <laughs> <laughs> Look at him. He's not even rubbing the temples counterclockwise. He's just wondering about every decision he ever made in his life. <laughs> oh, oh you cycle. failed. You failed. <laughs> again oh my god oh you're dead you're dead oh my yep. god oh yep. katrina's pissed she teleported from behind them to in front of them oh my goodness <laughs> she is so angry she is <sighs> yes oh phoenix Oh, 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 you're just jelly, girl. You're just jelly. <laughs> we need to do something about this. I don't know if jelly, maybe just bitter. That's, that's one about... reason why she shouldn't what? Why she shouldn't what? Oh. Oh, oh my God. Are, you, are, you are they going to try and attack her? Maybe. <laughs> Oh, what? Oh, oh he pulled oh, his heart out. 
Oh, 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 what? That was what? That was Trece. They just killed the guy who was having a birthday. Oh, that's not cool, man. That's the guy's birthday. You do cake on birthdays, not heart rituals. Oh, what? Oh, and Barrio Negro, too. It's just going to be Sinestro. I guess he's the leader. Oh, my God. Two beating hearts. This is, is so eat him? Is he going to eat him? Oh, my God. That's some Agua shit right there. That's some Last of the Mohican shit. Oh, my God. What the actual fuck? Oh, my God. It's not even his final form. <laughs> oh, my God. Oh, oh, my God. Oh, is powering up. Oh, my God. Super I'm calling mega. it. He's winning a medallion this season. Oh, Super Mega Ultra Chicken confirmed. What? Holy shit. I'm just saying, man. He's just ascended forms completely. That was some insane shit right there. I don't know what that has to do with chickens, but okay. <laughs> Just go with it, man. Just go with it. I'll just go with it, and guys, you guys can go with us, because we're about to, you know, stop recording until we get back from commercial. Ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to Lucha Underground Season 2, Episode 13, Live Reactions. And now, I believe it is main event time. Oh my god. Oh Matanza god. versus Mil Muerte. Yeah, you got it. You got it. You holding it down. Matanza versus Mil Muertes. Is Mil going to get suplexed like a bitch? Or is he going to be... Uh, a, I think he I is, time? man. I think he is. Well, I'll tell I've you. I've seen Matanza do the... Oh, what's it called? The Wrath of the Gods. That's yeah, Wrath of the Gods. I've seen him do that to Cage, and Cage is bigger than Mil, so I know he can do it to Mil. Well, there you go. And Katrina there holding up the stone. Just Not based an... on, on listed size, Cage is listed at 6 feet tall, 305 pounds. Mill is listed at 6'1", 265. Right. So not only is he an inch taller, but he's about 30 or 40 pounds less as well. Yeah, Mill Moretes, I, I mean, let me tell you, a man of a thousand deaths is going to have to bring all 1,000 of them, direct them at Matunza, and hope for the best. He has got to bring it, and He has got to yeah. bring it tonight if he wants to survive let alone win the championship. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I wonder if Katrina's going to get involved at all. She may have to. I'm telling you, it, it, um, Matunza has just been a sheer force since coming in here. I think Morty Elias is the referee. Yeah, it looks like it from behind. S certainly did a great job officiating that six-man tag last week. Freaking going really to help my ass out. And Johnny Mundo left to the Wolves, but that's not about that right now. It's about Mil Muertes. Here we go. See if you can bring in a Matunza. And, you know, Dario Cueto is going to be smirking. He's being like, oh, there's Katrina, the person who used to be the proprietor of this temple. Now it's mine again. The peck pop of death. Oh, my goodness. That peck work, though. And now Melissa Santos, who is looking. Oh, Matanza Cueto. Yep, the dominance is about to be unleashed. Dude, this match can't possibly last more than, like, eight or nine minutes. Yeah, and I can guarantee you they're going to maximize those minutes. I'm going to be probably left one or more. It might even be fewer than that if they have a post-credit scene. That is true. This might that be a five-minute match. I'm not even joking. Yeah. I mean, because with the way Matanz has been handling people, it's not really a hyperbolic statement to make, even though the opposition in this particular case is Mil Muertes. Matanz is just on another level. Yes, he is. Oh, man. Yeah. I'll tell you what, man. Matun's ever showed up at my door. That's it. I go peacefully. I'm like, I ain't even going to play. <laughs> when, when you were first saying that, you said, I'll, I go peacefully. I thought you were just going to say, I'd go pee. Well, that too. I mean, the, the, the pee. But you wouldn't definitely... go anywhere. You'd just pee on the spot right there. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Like, Fuck you open you. the door, you see that metallic mask with those dark eyes staring back at you. And immediately you just feel this strange, warm sensation running down your leg. Well, yeah, because in that moment, pants really are the best toilet. I mean, you, you don't you don't take your eyes off the man. This way you can go to the bathroom. No, that uh, that's too much for me. You know, yeah. you just do it in one flow of motion. You know, they have like, a name for that. It's called a panic piss. <laughs> that rolls off the tongue. Nice. <laughs> All right, we got our match up here. Lucha Underground Championship is gonna be some real shit. Marty Elias is, dude, I think Marty Elias has officiated every Matunza match, and he's amazing at selling how horrifying he is. <laughs> I think he's just grateful that he's been alive this long, and he just tries to stay out of Matunza's way. I can't really say that I blame him. I mean, I, what, I wish... Dude, Mill is, like, 
so like mystified by Matanza. He just Dude, Matanza looks taller than Mill. They must have him in lifts. Yeah, a little yeah. Oh, and look at Milda. Oh, just slapping Matanza. Oh, and now now dropping those wow. bombs. There we go. Wow, now Matanza, though, has the advantage. Look at this, winning the fist fight. Oh, get up. Oh, the king of the gun, though. Clubs oh in the back. Oh, my God. Dude, he got him down to his knees, down to his stomach. Wow. What? Mil Muerte's taking Matanza out to the woodshed. Dude, Mil is 100% Technico in this match, too. It's amazing. That's crazy. Yeah, I mean. He's going to toss him out, isn't he? Oh, I think he is. Oh, and no. now Matanza. No. Nice. No. Out by Matanza. Now off the ropes here. Oh my here. god, that lariat. Beautiful. Just beautiful. Wow. He really leans into him, too. Like, he's got that JBL lean into his lariats. Yeah, he does. Great, great parallel, dude. And now Matun's are really powering through on Milwaukee Days. And I gotta say, Ashton, I'm impressed with Lucha Underground for how great their writing is. They were able oh to make... Oh my god. Oh, and Matun's are ducking the clothesline there. Oh, but nice! Power, Power slam! Power slam! And I'll ride into the... We Mel know how devastating Mills' punches can be. He once punched a chair straight out of Chavo Guerrero's hands. That's true. But look at Matunza, though, regaining the vertical base. Choking him. Choking him there and then gets him in the corner. Shoulder thrust. Man. Oh. What a hot fight there. Yeah. Keep <laughs> killing each other. And oh, what a oh shot. Oh, my there. God. Straight fist by one. Mills' and punches are so devastating. He's actually staggering Matunza with him. Now he's trying to choke out Matunza. Oh, look at the power what? there. Oh, my God. Mil Muertes. He wow. is focused, man. Look at these short arm clotheslines, these corner clotheslines. Damn. One more? No, that's uh, it. He just did nine. I was counting. <laughs> oh, man. Matunza is Holy hot, crap. though, a little bit here. And yeah, Katrina's and Katrina with that stone held high. Absolutely. And that's where Matunza gets his, or uh, Milmuertes rather gets his power. Oh. Matunza, though, gets the boot up. Gets oh, the and boot again. Up again here. Gets it up a Three third time. Mill, you need to realize that you're going for the same thing over and over again and expecting different oh, results. Oh, it starts. Scott Ranch. Oh, oh my, my God. Oh, my God. Now it rotates over. Oh, my oh God. Oh, my God. And another God, that still triple. keeps it clasped. He's going triple for three. Triple wrench. Oh, oh, my God. That's trifecta. Look at him powering and through this bitch. It's and oh, oh, but left. look at this. Mill on his feet. Oh, my God. And he was doing that deadlift. Too. Oh, my God. Oh. The tons are sent to the outside. Look at these two. Look at this, man. like fucking... Oh, oh, it's still gonna dive? Oh, he is. It's still Through a side dive there. Oh, my God. Wow, he just If he would have gone off. over the top rope, I would have freaked out. And he just popped off, and now back in the mount punch position. Yeah. And now look at Dario. Look at Dario Claire. Are you really gonna try something right now? Oh, oh my. Oh, my God. <laughs> That's the most anxious aardvark I think I've ever heard your voice. Because I think Dario might just have his trachea ripped out. Oh, my God. Wow. And Matanza oh, has taken it. a while to recover, too. Oh, Dario! And, oh, oh, is he gonna... Oh, but wait, though, Matanza... And, oh, Matanza's saving... Oh, oh my, my God. I'm not getting tossed, though, I'll tell ya. Maybe Dario Quaid will learn anything. Oh, what oh, a what shot a by Matanza! Those shots, though! I love how, like, discombobulated and, like, sort of uncoordinated Matanza seems. Yeah, dude. Like, like it, it makes, it, it, he literally looks like he's not quite, com like, used to his own body yet, you know? Yeah, I, that's a great way of putting it, dude. Great way of putting it, and I just love how much of a brawl oh, this is. Oh, and Katrina! Oh, Katrina gets Oh, 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 oh my god. Oh, now she needs to teleport, right? Well, I mean, I don't know if that's going to work. Oh, Mill's not going to recover in time for you. He's not Matunza. Oh, how confident she is, though. Oh, my God. Oh, Jesus. And now, oh, oh steel, steel chair. chair. No, wait, though. Does this match get thrown out or no? I didn't know. No. It's world title matches, there are no DQs. Oh, that's right. That's right. It's just oh. like a rule of the temple. Well, that's cool. Oh, and these two still fight, though. Yeah, this this is a brawl right here. This is a fight right here. This is the most human we've ever seen Matunza look, and it's against the living incarnate of death itself. Yeah, exactly. Trash can of the skull there. Or actually, oh, no, it wasn't oh, even a trash can. Looks more like a gas canister or something. It is, yeah, dude. 
Oh, he's beating him off the steps. Oh, he's beating that boy right there. Oh, my Cueto, God. Cuetos, this is the most concerned I've ever seen Dario Cueto look for anyone ever. Oh, but now Matanza, though. Oh, right across the skull. And Cueto, though, getting really, oh like, God, angry and hot. Don't do it. You see Cueto almost, uh, you know, in the previous title match, it almost seems stoic. Like, you know, he figured that Matanza had it well in hand. No, this is an actual fight. I think Cueto's blood is stirring. Oh, man. Well, I mean, he has had his, his, you know, he has had Mills' hands around his neck. So, yeah, if he's a little shook up, that might be part of the reason why. Oh, but these guys are going into the believers here, dude. Yeah, they are yeah. fighting. Up. I'm thinking somebody's going to take. Following him too. Am I the dude, only one that someone, is, is someone going to get put through a building? I was going to. I was. I expect one of these guys to take a colossal fall. I don't know in what form, but yeah. oh my god. This, this they're, power they're going stone. over that railing, though. I oh, know that. and, and yep. Mortes gets the better of it. Wow. Oh, God. Oh, my oh. God. What's going on right now? Oh, wow. Power struggle again. Not anywhere. What's going on? Oh, he just went over the guard. Oh, my God. He is manhandling Mil Mortes. Oh, but now the body shots. Oh, the battle for supremacy. No. No, 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 oh. no. Oh, Don't he's going to no. kill this no, man. No, no, he's going to no, kill no, him. No. Oh, oh, no, Matanza Hangs on. Holy oh, Matanza Hangs on. Oh, my God. Katrina's oh, like, oh, my God. No. <laughs> oh, Matanza Hangs on. Oh, my God. <laughs> Katrina's all like, just hard mark. I am, like, in the seventh dimension right now. What the heck? Guido is just like, oh, he's losing his mind here. Matanza's hanging on. These guys have just decided that the only way that either one of them is going to beat the other is if they throw the person off a building. Yeah, I, I, I gotta kill oh, you. Oh, God. No, 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 no. 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 Oh, my God, what's happening? Oh, no. No, 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 Oh, my God. Quato looks concerned, though. Look, even I take the key off. I wonder if... Wait, wait. Holding the key. Trying to call back. It, I, how much do you want to bet? Me to, oh, it's the key versus the stone. This is the real main event right here. Oh, uh, my God. Key versus stone. Oh, that's it. Oh, we got the credits rolling. What? Oh. Holy crap. Oh, flatliner through the building, and yet neither person's recovered yet. I expected a ton to walk smoking? out. Oh, my God. The universe couldn't contain it. It couldn't contain it. <laughs> oh, my God. We're going to go cinematic. Huh? Oh, Captain Vasquez? Oh, Bale's yeah, deceased. Yeah, know about Bale being dead. Oh, my Bale goodness. And Alberto Patron Hernandez. Big Rick. Uh, oh, get called in. Oh, is, is, is it Sleazy Who Ryan? Is no. What? This dude's a creeper. Ooh. Uh. Oh, what? Oh, my God. Ooh, tension in the department. Um. Oh, what is going on? I'm still caught up on the freaking building collapse. Oh, this guy. Oh, this oh, guy's what? Shh. Oh. Oh, God. Ooh. Oh, that's not a good career move. Oh. <gasps> oh. Who's more powerful? More powerful than the mayor. Yeah. Oh my god. Oh god. So Boyle Heights is that guy's jurisdiction. She's stepping on his toes, and there's a source higher than the mayor asking her to back off of Dario Cueto. Oh. CIA. She's pissed. CIA man, I'm telling you. Yeah, Dario so Cueto. This goes all the way up to the entire federal government of the United States. They've been hoping to get Dario Cueto for decades now. Well, you know, he doesn't need to worry about any Snoopy poopies after what just happened in that main event. Oh, my God. Some crazy shit right there. What does that even mean, John? 
Look, what it means is Dario Cueto's got a lot on his plate, and he's got to call a contractor to fix that building. That building imploded like my brain. <laughs> investigation. She's like, oh, shit, who's higher up? I'm telling you the Pentagon has something to do with it. Yep. It's all going to be revealed next week. <laughs> it's federal. It's federal. It's it's gotten it's the entire it's national john it's the entire country oh my god what is dario cueto plotting how far back does the rabbit hole go I'm telling you man 30 years at least oh my sweet buttery bacon jesus we've got it <laughs> all right guys well that was live reactions that was insanity that main event was incredible uh, we'll see you all for our more analytical, maybe more level-headed take on the show <laughs> during TwitWow.